哦，点心，黑狗，小笼包。Oh my god， I love dim sum。Okay， the standard is。Oh, and the lotus rice thing, wow. So I always have to end it with liu sha bao. It's almost like a dessert. Like a dessert. Yeah. Yeah, I only try the one at Sweet Chun. Okay lah, the one at Sweet Chun is nice. Canton Paradise. Oh yes, Canton. Yeah, the one that comes in like pigs. I will poke the butt right, so it looks like they are shitting out liu sha bao. Cannot be too sweet. I feel like I've ever eaten some liu sha bao that they are so sweet, right? It like loses the salted egg feeling, and I like that it is grainy. Cause liu sha bao must be grainy one. You you cannot have like one nice custard texture. Then that one not nice really. Must have enough zap to flow out when you eat. And cannot be like curdled up together. Like you know niam niam one. Then the bao outside right must be soft yet firm enough to hold. I've eaten this before. Wow, damn orange. It's so shiny. It reminds me of you know McDonald's filet fish bun. Oh, like very smooth, right? Yes. It looks like you know Chinese New Year you want to buy. And I like that it's very small. Cause you know it'll be very messy. I feel like people will scold me if they see how I eat. But normally I will let the thing come out first. Cause you know when you eat right, I want to have each piece got a exact amount of sauce. I can see like it's coming out. It's like Zinia coming out. Oh wow! It definitely leaked out. Wow, smells amazing. I think this sauce really quite oily. Like you can clearly see the separation. Hmm. So the smell of the salted egg is not very strong, but the taste is very strong. It's not too coarse, but when you eat right. There's like this like very fine grains that lingers mm -hmm. on top of your tongue. I think the salted egg can be a bit punchier. Right now it's just creamy. There's not much salted egg yolk taste. So. The bao doesn't taste fresh. To me, I don't think it's amazing. <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> don't, it, it didn't blow my mind. Shh, I know it hurts. <laughs> but I love you! <laughs> It's huge. Ooh, it's really very big, ah. Well, I feel like this one will have a lot of sauce. Damn oily, yeah. See, you see, there's a lot of bun as compared to the filling. Oh, so the custard is a very pale yellow. Wow, you taste taste very different from just now. Too cowardly the filling. Maybe they wanted the filling to be more flavorful than to have more bun, right? But it doesn't work that way. Whatever hits your taste part first is that filling, which is too sweet, and then you eat the bun like damn plain. It doesn't complement each other well. Wow, but it's damn sweet. The inside tastes like condensed milk. But I like this kind of taste, lah. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like the bun is a little bit dry as well. Mm. So when you bite into it, it's not really fluffy. It's how bowls are like lah. It's a Halloween mah. It's confirmed some charcoal something. Yes, egg, I right? was thinking charcoal. But it's nice eh. I feel like they put in effort. This one still have grooves. I have no idea why charcoal and salted egg yolk go so well together. I don't know if it's just the color or what. Like a bee. Yeah. <laughs> Like a bees. Oh, wow, it's damn nice, eh? I'm hoping the bun tastes different, lah. I mean, cause grey color. Just to show you how much it is. It's very gooey. Yeah, like it sticks to the top of your, you know, what, what, what is this called? Your mouth. Yeah, it sticks here. I like this one. I like this one too. The bun also is quite soft. Hmm. Right. And the salted egg taste is much stronger. It's okay leh. I think the flavor profile is nice eh. It hits like sweet and savory. It's slightly grainy. The taste of the custard itself, this one was a lot more balanced compared to the previous ones. But not bad. I feel like the bun quite soft. It is like very fluffy yet like not soggy. I just wish there was more. Like it was bigger a bit. This is so familiar. I think this dolly paper yeah. makes it feel very homemade, like your ama made it, you know? This looks exactly like the one I get from Si Chun normally. But mine bigger than this. That means it's handmade. Ooh, it's very yes. lovely. Wow, and because it's so small, right, the feeling really kao kao. Very siang eh. Ooh, yes. Why, but it smells like chicken here. This is my favourite. Mm. Although you get a lot of sub, right? But then like, too much, then I feel like I'm eating this custard. It's like the salted egg, it's like just like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a big grain of salted egg yolk. Eh. 
Yeah, yeah. It's damn different from the rest. So the person making this bun right is purposely telling you, eh, hey, I use the real stuff. Eh, don't tell me, I'm using that custard. Oh, okay, it's really really tatali. That's true. It's like very buttery, very heavy, but it's more on the savory side. There's not much sugar to it. It has this added taste. You know like the egg roll, the love letter? You can get quite like jelak after a while But if you like salted egg right, then you will like this oh. I appreciate the bigger grains Because it adds texture And it's a nicer mouthfeel lah when you eat Wow! <laughs> cute one! It has sesame seeds on top They purposely make it so small then that you can finish it in one bite Aha! Oh, wow, it's a nice vibrant color. Yes, like the consistency is thick. It's not super watery. Oh, it smells like a manto. Is this yusha pao? Really ah? So the texture is there for the bit of green texture. And it's quite velvety and luscious. But then it's not sweet. It is not savory. There's no salted egg taste. There's no milky taste. It's like rice. Wow, this is a very accurate description. Okay, one thing I like about it is the ratio, the bun to feeling ratio. And that it's very small, it is convenient to eat, yes. it is not messy at all. This Liu Sha Pao, right? It's like when we are going through our teenage years, you're going through identity crisis. You don't know who you are. Do I want to be a sesame bun or do I want to be a Liu Sha Pao? If nothingness had a taste, right? This would be it. Oh no! <laughs> Savage! I would imagine it's frozen, right? Okay. So the filling wouldn't be that great. It wouldn't be grainy. It would be like more custardy, smooth and creamy, like the ah, fake salted egg filling yeah. lah. You see? <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly good, yes. Oh, I'm really impressed at the NTUC, like bit Crystal J, bit Dang Long, bit Victor's Kitchen. All these, right, have long queue, uh, especially Victor's Kitchen. Well, I know it's mainstream, I know it's basic, but. Crystal J, it's popular for a reason lah. It is very simple yet delightful mm. lor. I'm surprised by actually eat and sing like oh, for a coffee shop in some place. Yeah. Right? They really made it very gao eh. Thank you for watching this episode of Taste Testers. If you like this episode, remember to catch our episodes over there. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye.